Good morning, modern steaders. A nice brisk five degrees out this morning, guys. <laughs> it's way too early in the season to be having this cold of weather. Oh, the next couple of days, I saw one below with the forecast at night. <laughs> no, guys, it's still November. This is January weather. Oh, I don't know how the weather is where you are, but this is just crazy. I know, you know what I'm saying? But Al, you live in a northern quiet climate. Quit your, I'm not, it's just too early. But we got the heat installed just in time in the workshop. Oh, can't wait to go in there, warm it up. So in a little bit, we can get in there and finish working on our water storage system. I hear the boy goats, but they're not coming out. It's too cold for them, I guess. Survey says 44 in here. I like that setting. Turn it up a little bit. There we go. Oh, you hear the heat? One of the things I really like doing for our animals is giving them nice warm water in the morning. I shouldn't say just in the morning. Throughout the day, I'll come out here with warm water. When I look at it, it's like us having our hot morning cup of coffee. I think I hear Figaro. No? Guess I'm hearing things. Your boy's gonna come out and get your grain. Morning, Zeke and Caleb. You know where we're going. Go ahead. There you go. Enjoy it. Sunflower seeds and grain. Yum. Good morning, goats. Nice chilly morning, huh? What do you think of this weather, Hope? <laughs> you have nothing to say? <sighs> Is that some good hay? Keep you nice and warm. You hide your grain willow so you don't want to come out. You're like, yeah, I'll stay in. Who wants the first drink of warm water? Who's gonna be the one, huh? You can hear them drink and they drink like they're sucking through a straw. I think that's what the animals look forward to the most every day, is every time we come out and bring us some warm water. They're usually fighting over it. Good thing the dogs like this cold and snow. Right, Tanner? You love it. Morning ducks, chickens. I'm mixing in whole kernel corn in with their grain. It's supposed to help keep them warm and keep them producing eggs throughout the winter. Somebody already laid an egg first thing this morning. We better bring that in before it freezes. Ducks sure are crazy. If it's five degrees outside, I do not want to be playing in water. <sighs> but they sure do. Oh, it's gonna be nice to get into the warm workshop. Olivia's glove. Oh, it is warm. Oh, I turned the heat up. So what I was thinking is we can have uh, that pipe in there come down so we can figure out where we want to put the faucet. Not great. Right. That's kind of great. Right yeah. So there should be holes down here, you're saying? So it's yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, put her back down. Boom! Because on the back side of the faucet, we should be able to take this off and use it as our guide. All right, so yeah, the three center ones. Hey, the heat kicked off. It's plenty warm. That's it's Christmas. 
Present wrapping. That's exactly what I was just gonna say. It reminds me of the stuff you get in like Easter baskets or Christmas presents. <sighs> you don't yeah, want I that, Tanner. Stay out of Nothing there. good. Yeek. Watch out, Tanner. All right, one more. Homemade. All right, I'm gonna leave it off the wall first while we get the faucet set up. got white packs just because it's not really hot water or cold water it's gonna be room temperature water those cutters were good for that too that plug in that in let's go one two on the hot water side. The thing is if we don't plug this side off and we turn say the cold water side on it'll pour out this side. So by doing this we're making a plug so we don't got to worry about it back feeding down here if that makes sense. All right. If I glue it like so we have enough room lengthwise we can move the barrel back and forth as needed and I have clearance Clarence! You get underneath. So if I need to spin it back off, you can put this all together right now. Let's put gloves. Let's put gloves on so we don't get covered in the stuff. Do some cleaning. I'm talking to myself, talking to the GoPro. Clean that up. Clean up our spacer. On the inside here. straight which looks good right there we'll hold it for about 30 seconds let it dry there we go oh so messy there we go I want it nice and tight down to three quarter inch pipe thread to half inch pecs. I was hoping to go three quarter inch pecs, but our local hardware store didn't have it, so we could go from the adapters we need for our sink to three quarter inch pecs. So we had to go half inch. Now you always want to remember to wrap your tape with the threads. Too funny.
There we go. I like how we have just enough clearance between the shutoff and the table. You might not have needed that hex right there, but let's see if we can go one more time around. Oh, I like that right there. That's perfect. Off. So, okay, and then this hose gets tightened up, and there's a rubber washer right here. That's what's going to seal these two. Bam. Just hope we have enough water pressure to go down and then back up. But we should because. Even still, I believe this faucet is lower than the tank. Six, if we go seven and a half for a piece of PEX. Bam. Now we just gotta get water down here. All right, we got our drinking hose right here. We're using food grade drinking water hose, garden hose. Let's get that opened. Get my gloves, cause it's gonna be cold. Are we facing the right direction? No. Let's do this. Bam, there we go. Time to get pulling. I hope we have enough hose, we should be Either we're either gonna make it or we're gonna just be shy. I think we got it. Oh, I can see we're getting down there. Might need one more hose. So close, we're gonna be, I think, just shy. Hello! Watch that here. hose. See if I we run out. See it on the rail. Oh gosh. Okay. We're either gonna be. Oh, we're gonna have just enough. I think. Oh, stop. Okay. Just... Did it come all the way off the rail? I think. You can go straight and you're gonna... I, no, think over. I think it tipped over. So I think. You're... There we go. It's gonna be just enough. I think we should have just enough. I think it should, because I had to get a little bit more off. Look at that, just enough.
can't get the water to come out of the faucet. We're thinking that we have an issue with the low flow water design of that faucet. I better stop because we're going to be close to that bung. I forgot we can't go over this mark. Yeah, we got it right there. Perfect. So I think if I turn this on, we should have enough water coming out. We just don't have pressure enough. Right, but it's not enough to run it through oh, here. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Ah! So I, we have enough to do what we need to do. It's just the new water saving technology. Or maybe I try hooking that back up and maybe it was airbound. Let's try that for a second. I think what it, well, I don't even think it's just the wall. I think it's the, that hose diameter inside is only quarter inch or eighth inch. To so open that up, both of them. I'm gonna open this. Yeah, you can hear it. We know we have pressure here. We just don't have enough to get out of that faucet. And then even if we take it off here, I don't think we have enough volume right. coming out. Even if somehow you hook this faucet over there, you don't, it's not gonna have enough to come out. It's still not gonna, no. I think we gotta figure out like just either a half inch hose or a three quarter inch hose. We could just do like a hose hose. The other cool thing about having a hundred gallons of water right here is once it warms up, this will actually help hold the temperature in the bottom. Oh really? Because water is like one of the best transporters of heat. So once this heats up, and right now it's freezing, once this heats up, this is gonna help actually radiate the heat back into the shop. So that's, that's a good thing. And you're gonna hook up. Yes, right now. All right, now I wanna put a strap system in. We'll go here, right below that. Okay, let go. Is there a razor knife somewhere? Thank you. There, now we don't gotta worry about, for any reason, it kicking off the wall. It can't go anywhere. Well, I can't say the whole thing was a fail, but the first attempt was a fail. The faucet's not working, but we learned quite a bit today. We know we have plenty of volume. We just don't have the pressure. So now I gotta figure out what I need to get for parts and pieces. And we'll get that hooked up. I'm gonna make my whole fries, but basically I'm gonna make potato wedges. Cause we're gonna have some hamburgers tonight. I feel like paprika is a key to home fries or that you put in oil. Paprika! Actually, we use paprika quite a lot.
I'm gonna put them on my little silicone baking mat here. It makes for easier cleanup. So whatever we get for eggs, we've got to add one to it because I've got one egg first thing this morning when I fed them. Trade you. I'll go feed them and then I'll get the basket back from you. They're not going to come over here. There you go. Plenty of corn to keep you warm. How many? So I think there's going to be six. And then one's gonna break, so it's gonna be five. But when we add the other one that that you saw that you got this morning, it's gonna be six. But if you count the craft one, it's gonna be seven. All right. I'll say four. One, two, three, four. Five, so six, including this morning. I, I was right. You were right. Pretty much. Bam. Okay. You hoping no? Hi, goddess. You want some hay goats? All right, girl. I'll let you get locked up for the night. Keep warm. It's snowing out again. Let's the boys water Okay. Yeah, probably. Stay out. They're not even in here. They're not! Nope. I figured they would be. Yeah, it's a little slushy, not bad. Are they at the hay feeder? Yep. Yep. What are you boys up to? See, they don't mind the snow. They look, they look delicious. They smell even better. Oh, she looks so pretty. Oh, yes. Oh, making some delicious grass-fed burgers tonight from farm food markets. If you guys want to purchase any grass-fed beef or pasture-raised pork, I'll leave a bit, link in the video description down below for 10% off your order. Oh, we're gonna put a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder on them. <laughs> it's gotta be good, guys. They look really ready to go. I did another 10 minutes, checked them, and then I did another five, and I think they look pretty good. I want to take them out. We'll see what everybody else thinks. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Well, these french fries were delicious. This is going to become a new normal food at the table. They are good. Gina said they weren't very hard to make. They just took a little bit of time to cook. So I think we're on the right track for our off-grid water storage in the workshop. I think the issue is, is that that new fandangled faucet has all that water saving technology and we don't have the pressure to push it out so we're probably just going to try using a hose if you guys have any ideas of what we could try or different things leave it in the comments down below we'd love to get like a nice little maybe not a faucet but some kind of like spigot out there so we can have it as a shower or whatever for rinsing out the buckets if it doesn't work we'll just use a regular hose but I guess we're going to be on the search for that. So thanks for coming along on our journey list, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. 
I hope wherever you are, your weather is warming up and we're getting back into fall weather and not winter weather. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.